I told you this a long time ago because it's the facts. Congress insisted they be kept in the dark on NSA spying. That's now uh, what the lawmakers have come out and are saying to the press. They passed the Echelon legislation in the 80s. They passed the Telecommunications Act of 96 and the subsequent acts that all stated $5 billion, $9 billion, $18 billion, $50 plus billion, $100 plus billion. That's how it's building up to build giant spy grids everywhere and hire hundreds of thousands of analysts per region to listen to your phones. To track everything you're doing in live time. And they're not looking for terrorists, folks, okay? <laughs> they, they've given them heat-seeking missiles in Syria. They are controlling the economy and spying on good government people. This has come out from whistleblowers. They're spying on the light side of government because there's a legitimate side of government that does legitimate actions and legitimate quote services the problem is is that it's shrinking down to nothing and it's come out that they use it to spy i mean what did uh nsa insider wayne madsen tell you on this show 15 years ago 10 years ago five years ago a year ago six months ago over and over again the NSA is there to spy on Congress, to spy on other governments, to spy on corporations, and to spy on the American people, and to spy on FBI, CIA, NSA. That's their main, I mean, their main focus, the most important thing, the apple of their eye, the plum, <sighs> is their own people because the government is engaged in criminality. And they're all acting like this isn't going on. It's like... General Alexander, the head of the NSA, the head of the Cyber Command, looking at the uh, deputy director of the FBI and saying, tell your boss I'm going to buy him another beer. Because it's all a big joke, ladies and gentlemen. They're all committing crimes. And so, of course, Congress says, I know nothing. I know. I've seen nothing. I hear nothing. 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 And what do they do in their testimony? All of them. Justice Department heads, all of them. I know nothing on Benghazi. I know nothing on IRS Gate. I know nothing on Fast and Furious. They actually know everything. If someone in the Justice Department or someone in the NSA that's even mid-level wants to go into my entire surfing history, they can do it right now. And they can also go in there and place false things. That's even under law, under a subsection of the Patriot Act on sneak and peek. And then when you find out about it, if you catch them in your house or catch them on your computer remotely, it's a felony if you tell anyone they were doing it. Well, I mean, what are they going to have laws next that they can put children in soup bowls? You know, it's the law. Or make black people slaves again. It's the law. I mean... Well, I say your law is a fraud. It's unconstitutional. It's, it's a infomnia. So that's just one of the articles up on Infowars.com of, uh, no exaggeration, there's probably 200 articles here. Richard Clark says Hastings accident consistent with a cyber car attack or car cyber attack. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the Infowars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happens. So check it out, Infowars.com forward slash show. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us on this Tuesday, 25th day of June 2013, worldwide transmission. We're going to be here for the next three hours. Uh, Congressman Issa has issued Benghazi subpoenas for the State Department, and more and more news is coming out on that front. It was in Reuters a few days ago, but has gotten really no attention that thousands of U.S. troops have been deployed uh, to an area in Israel by Gaza, 
uh, in case of some type of collapse in Egypt and uh, uh, millions of people trying to influx into Israel. That, that is unprecedented. And then it's just back of the newspaper. Uh, we've got uh, Putin confirming that Edward Snowden never entered Russia and is in the customs area in the no man's land. Uh, and he's told Snowden to leave. And on top of that, the media uh, is running around again trying to frame this uh, as if Putin or the communist Chinese are involved. And, and I'm not in, you know, in some love affair with those guys. Uh, it's just that they're not the globalists that run my country and that are running it into the ground. We've not been conquered by Russians or Chinese communists. We've been conquered by mega banks that will work with anybody to consolidate power in America and deindustrialize us. That's part of their score to settle with this republic. Uh, you can say the globalists are allied with some of the communist Chinese leadership to get cheap slave goods to leverage out markets, but that's as far as it goes. So the attempt to brand Snowden as some foreign spy, and we're seeing more and more of that, uh, it just doesn't fly. And then they can put out the idea that any whistleblowers are basically involved in espionage. And that's why Hong Kong was smart to say you need to leave. That's basically what happened. And now Russia is smart saying you stay in the customs area. We're not letting you in Russia and we need to say you need to go. You need to go. And now they've got Kerry and people uh, backtracking the Secretary of State going, okay, Russia, Russia isn't involved in this. But when you see Meet the Press saying arrest members of the press that Snowden talked to, that is about rolling out a war openly on the press and, and, and arresting people that expose government corruption. This is, this is Soviet Union, Maoist China, Fidel Castro's Cuba. This is beyond stuff that Hugo Chavez would do. Uh, and this is starting to border on Hitlerian. This is how it started in 1935, 36. It took Hitler a couple years to start going after the press. First, he went after army personnel and his own Nazis in the SA uh, who weren't you know, going along with the full program. And after he consolidated power in the government, which they're trying to do with the NSA now and over the media, then they go after everybody else. And, and, and again, you've committed no crime. You pay outrageous taxes. You bow to the government. You don't care about freedom. You think you're safe. It's the opposite. You are a lunch to these people. You are a lunchable. You are low-hanging fruit. Those of us that fight the system, those of us that are aggressive, those of us that are highly visible, historically and currently, I can tell you, are among the most safe of people. The only folks they kill in my research are people that have a smoking gun and who have extreme credibility. And Michael Hastings, associate editor of Rolling Stone, said, I've got bombshell info on the CIA, the NSA spy scandal, and on women and sex with Petraeus. And what was behind that? Well, it was clearly sex operations. It was clearly sent in to compromise him. So it's an internal fight between the Army and the CIA. And we've confirmed that across the board from a raft of insiders, from Steve Pachinik uh, to you name it. A lot of them off record, I'm not going to say. Some of them are guests you hear on air, but some of, some of them are off record. But Wayne Madsen's on record, many others. And that's when you get killed, is when you've got something. Oh my gosh, he's very credible. People believe him. Uh, he's got the ear of the progressive, but also the conservative press and the liberal press killing. And I said on Sunday, well, I said last week as well, that I don't believe that Michael Hastings was killed in a remote control accident, even though DARPA's on record saying all the new cars can be remote controlled instantly by the government. They have the code key, backdoor passwords, hardwired into everything wirelessly. All these cars are now wireless on record, especially this Mercedes, and they can take control of it and drive it better than a race car driver can. In fact, you can program the computer to take someone on a route and drive at speeds that the computer can drive at, but that humans wouldn't be able to control the vehicle. I mean, five states already have Google cars driving on the road. By next year, it'll be 20 plus. They estimate within five years uh, to 10 years, every 
state in the U.S. will have robot cars, and then they're going to replace humans because the insurance is going to be jacked up. And I told you this a decade ago because I know how they work. Now they've announced it. We're going to charge you a lot more insurance if you're a human driver. You're supposed to get in your cars and have them drive it for you. And that's what this new Mercedes did and the new Lexus and a bunch of others do. Soon you'll be able to get low-cost cars that don't have this where it drives. Oh, you were going over in a lane? I'm taking over. You're going too fast? I'm going to brake. This is horrible. But again, they always sell tyranny, implantable microchips, face scanning, smart homes that spy on you and control everything you do, and tattletale on you. All of this is always sold as a status issue. I'll never forget in Wash Tech, back when the Washington Post in about 98 to 2002 was putting out a digital but also monthly hard copy magazine called Wash Tech. They had their head technology writer brag that he'd been in with DARPA. You can look this up. And that they were going to promote a movement of body modification and tattooing. And I'm not saying that's bad if you do that. My point is they were going to promote it in the movies and TV to prepare. This is DARPA talking to you like you're an idiot, telling you the secret to prepare you to accept implantable chips and that there would be pills you swallowed that reported to your doctor what you were taking through your wireless internet, part of all prescriptions. I told you this two years ago, wrote articles about it. We had the companies putting it out, threatened to sue us if we didn't make modifications to our articles. It was in the Wall Street Journal, the Daily Mail, the Associated Press, Reuters, and a bunch of other publications the last two days. That, that indeed, that's the plan. You won't get a prescription unless it's got RFID in it. Forget to take medicine. These pills will tell your doctor. Wall Street Journal. See, people keep saying, man, this guy sounds crazy, all this stuff. I'm telling you what they said they're going to do. I want to explain something to you. They say they put cancer viruses in your vaccines. They say they put hydrofluorosilicic acid in your water to give you cancer and dumb you down and sterilize you. They say... They're spraying aluminum dioxide, barium salts, and also some radioactive isotopes to weather modify worldwide. It's public. It's called geoengineering. But the public goes, I heard, I heard. Won't even look it up. Won't even watch the films online for free that break it down. I mean, we're in Buck Rogersville. We're having our entire society radically re-engineered into an artificial habitat in their words to where we will artificially adapt to that and then be unable to live outside of it. We're having nanotech engineered viruses. That's what they are, artificially engineered viruses. All a virus is is a replicating data RNA packet that programs DNA. So they've, they've created on record, this is stuff that's declassified, thousands of viruses that will reprogram the brain. Do you understand the end of free will? They call it an anti-stress vaccine is how they're rolling it out. See, they call a Connect the newest, cutest video game. Oh, that, by the way, uses wireless to scan through all your walls and listen to your voice three walls over. And uh, it can give a color image of your naked body standing in a shower through multiple brick walls. And all the new computers and everything are listening and watching you. And suddenly, it's all over Wired Magazine. It's all over the news. And they're going, what's wrong with that? It's totally cool. But simultaneously, I'm insane and I'm bad because I'm telling you it went on before they made the announcement. And I'm still insane and bad even after the announcement's made. You understand? That's how the programming works because you're scared of that. You should be concerned. But you don't feel like you have power, so you're going to say, yeah, that guy's got a crazy show. I don't have a crazy show. I'm like an animal with my leg in a bear trap, trying to claw out of it. We are coll collectively in the jaws of something really bad, and we need to poke its eyes out. We need to bite it on the nose. It's got our legs, and it's trying to swallow us up, and I'm saying, let's struggle. Let's get out of this. And people are like, it's not that bad. They're doing it for our safety. Oh, they're doing it to keep us safe from terrorists. And then it's all on record the globalists run the terrorists. They did 20 years ago, they do today. And are using it to take our liberties. I mean, they're starting drug testing all over the country in public schools without warrants and checkpoints looking for drugs the government ships in and the big banks launder on record.
Do you understand, folks? It's on record that every major vaccine they've looked at has cancer viruses added and other weird nanotech stuff. It's on record they're adding dozens and dozens of poisons. It's actually hundreds, but we can prove dozens on purpose. They're not just adding hydrofluorosilicic acid to the water supply. They're adding radioactive isotopes on record. Look it up. You're not in Kansas, folks. That's what people say. Oh, you've got such courage. You don't care if they demonize you or attack you or even kill you. Yeah, because I'm dead already. You understand that? This plan, if it goes through, folks, it's over. Do you understand that? This is the power of hell being released. Now, there's Forbes. Radiation detected in drinking water in 13 more U.S. cities. Cesium-137 in Vermont milk. God help us. God help us. They add it to the water on record. The hydrofluorosilicic compound is mined out of major deposits of limestone and when they play out in a uranium mine they turn it to a fluoride mine they put uranium in your water the important thing about the pro one filter today is that the material we use for removing fluoride and other heavy metals now will remove the latest form of fluoride called hydrofluorosilicic acid there's no other fluoride reduction filter out there that will remove that type of fluoride. And it's extremely important because today we're hearing more and more cities are using that form of fluoride. We've been having medication forced on us through the water system for quite a while. Most people don't realize it. Most people don't realize the negative effects of fluoride. There's a wide range of health effects that are attributed to fluoride. Bottom line, why should somebody get this new Pro One Pro Pure filter? The reason to buy the Pro One, it's an all in one filter. It's convenient, easy to use. It doesn't require the add on fluoride filter. And in addition, this filter removes the latest form of fluoride called hydrofluorosilicic acid. But to understand what's happening is, in 1913, private offshore banks were able to get a beachhead and take control of our money supply. And then they bankrupted the country artificially, put us into emergency receivership with the uh, emergency acts they put in in 1933, the War Powers Act that Roosevelt put into place. And then in 1947, the National Security Act, that whole shadow banking system was able to be given total government power and immunity above the law basically diplomatic immunity and secrecy. So that really marks a major milestone in our road to tyranny. And then from there, it just gets worse and worse. And now our military is under NATO command and Congress is told that and Congress does nothing and plays like they're stupid because they've been paid off. Just like Congress comes out and says, we don't want to go to briefings. We don't want to know about the NSA because the predecessors voted this treason uh, into place. And most of them are blackmailed. Most of the Republicans and Democrats on record, and that's why it's always coming out, the scams they're involved in, the fraud, the weird sexual stuff, they are identified by the power structure as being corrupt, and they are immediately promoted to the top. And any FBI agent, any CIA person will tell you that when they start going on field operations, first it'll be, here's some high-class, you know, high-dollar hookers, have sex with them. And if you don't have sex with them, you're never moved past a desk job or, or you're never you know, moved past basically low level uh, duties. And then if you have sex with the hookers, then it moves up to take some stolen goods. Just like they tried to corrupt Serpico in the New York detectives uh, office. And I've had Serpico on. We've said, you know, how many of the other police were corrupt? And he goes in the detective narcotics units, all of them. And then they shot him in the face over it. And only our naivete allows this to continue. Only, only letting drugs be illegal. They've had Northern European countries legalize drugs. In most cases, drug use goes down by over half. Always over a third. And they put up billboards showing how pathetic drug addicts are. But see, the globalists have already taken over there, so why should they even bring in drugs and sell them? They've already got full control and, you know, 75, 80% tax rates in places like Denmark. 
So why should they even let people ship drugs in and then have it illegal? So I guess that's one good thing. Once we're fully captured by the globalists, they'll, they'll, they'll legalize the drugs and we can stop all this craziness. But I'd rather stop it now. How many drug dealers are on record going public? In my film, Kevin Booth's American Drug War film, uh, you know, he interviews drug dealers who say, no, we don't want drugs decriminalized. And then they get Christian conservatives to say they should be illegal so the government can ship them in for big banks that get the money and get to launder it. This, these are the points I'm getting at here. And then they've got people driving around Austin, Texas with bumper stickers saying, I pay carbon credits to this group. And I go look up the group and it's either Al Gore's group or the Rothschild group or the Clinton Obama group. There's only five different major carbon exchanges. And then you find out that all these corrupt globalist authoritarian mobsters are being paid money on coal, on oil, on plastic. But then people volunteer to have special credit cards that they swipe that send money like an indulgence. Like, you know, when the Pope said, get your family out of hell or out of purgatory, you know, send me, you know, send me money. It, it, it's kind of like that in the old days. And you go pay Al Gore or the Rothschilds or the Rockefellers money so you feel good about using your car. It's just crazy. Loving to be suckers. Nothing to do with the environment. I mean, here's one in the Weekly Standard. White House Climate Advisor, a war on coal is exactly what's needed. We can cue up the clip of Obama saying we will bankrupt coal. You can build a coal plant, but we will bankrupt you. And they're doing that to shut down our industry. They're not calling for China to stop building three of them a week as they shut down more than three of them a week here, and as your power prices go up. I mean, I know I harp on this. It's just they are gutting America right now because they are an enemy globalist group that hates the fact that we still have guns and still have a, 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 a memory of freedom. They want to extinguish that forever. Just like Stalin would collectivize all the farms in Ukraine to break everybody over a decade. Your calls are coming up at 800-259-9231. First time callers, folks, today. 800-259-9231. You've got to realize an enemy force has taken over and is waging war on us if we have any hope to ever turn this around. America is captured. Johnny Appleseed was born during the Revolutionary War. He's not just a legend. And in more than five states, he introduced apples that had not even been grown in the colonies. Later, the seeds from plants he planted and cultivated and some of the varieties he developed spread across the United States. And it was Johnny Appleseed teaching the colonists and then the new Americans after we won independence the love of planting fruit trees that introduced that idea to North America. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a revolutionary act to unplug from the television, to unplug from the computer and all the globalist propaganda and to go out in your backyard or your front yard or planters at your apartment or on the roof of the building where you live and to plant a garden. Become the Johnny Appleseed of your community with seeds from the InfoWars Seed Center at InfoWarsStore.com. The simple act of planting fruits and vegetables and then tending them and taking care of them and then sharing them with friends and family is a revolutionary act against tyranny. The globalists, first and foremost, do not want us to be self-sufficient. The crony anti-free market capitalist, the fascist, are using socialism and collectivism to shut down societies. Stalin in Poland and in Ukraine and other areas starved on record more than 10 million people over five years by not letting them grow their own crops and collectivizing them. Mao killed between 65 million and 80 plus million people doing this same thing. The UN says they will use food as a weapon. They use genetic evil to attack the earth and major GMO companies have been caught going into growth belts around the world, even where GMO is illegal, and planting seeds everywhere to infect the genetics of the original crops. Almost all of the thousands of varieties of Mexican corn has been infected. They are in a genetic war against everyone. That's why we have to get these seeds and not just plant them on our own gardens and not just give them as gifts to friends and family to plant spring and summer and fall gardens. I'm calling on you 
to go out into the green belts, to go out into the areas and plant secret gardens. No, not of marijuana, but of the hundreds and hundreds of incredible high quality uh, vegetables and herbs and fruit plants that are here. Lemons and oranges, the list goes on and on. They will grow, uh, plum trees, grape trees, they will grow almost everywhere in the U.S. We can literally, not just buying these products from InfoWarsStore.com, but from wherever you get them. This aggressive program literally just came to me one morning when I woke up about 4 a.m. realizing that we've got to counter their genetic war against us with original, real crops developed over eons on this planet. We have the lowest prices we bought it in the biggest bulk that some of these companies have ever seen to ship this directly to you from the InfoWars Command Center. We stand for life. We stand for liberty. We stand for self-sufficiency. Go to InfoWarsStore.com, click on the Seed Center, and as of taping this, we have the seven top respected brands. We intend to continue to do research and find other companies, other specialties, other varieties to really take action. The InfoWars Store Seed Center has the largest online selection of heirloom, non-GMO seeds. Check out these products from our newest supplier, Heirloom Organics. The Medicine Garden for a natural remedy. The Tea Garden that contains every important tea herb you can grow. Fruit lovers with 12 varieties. And the Tobacco Pack, additive and pesticide free. Join the gardening revolution today at InfoWarsStore.com. This is a revolutionary action we're asking you to take. Plant seeds everywhere today. Nurture them, bring them to fruit, and pass on the knowledge to others. Become human again. Discover your roots in the soil. And remember, the revolution against tyranny is growing. <laughs> Coming up, it looks like a federal lawsuit, maybe even criminal charges against John the Don Corzine, formerly the head of Goldman Sachs and who stole a bunch of private bank accounts, uh, brokerage accounts via MF Global. Uh, we'll see if he actually goes to jail like he should. But the crimes he committed are standard operating procedure for the uh, banks that run this country. And, and they are the people that run the whole new world order. And look at how many of them are going to jail. Look at how many of them are getting indicted because their crimes are so public and so obvious. We could bring these people down. Also on the whole immigration bill, the 1200 plus pages and now people are having time to go through it. I've read some of the subsections. It just ends the country as we know it. And uh, Chucky e. Schumer is saying that if it's not passed, there'll be a new civil rights movement. Can I go to Mexico or Guatemala or Brazil uh, or France? We mainly talk about Latin America. Can I go to Central Africa and show up and say, my civil rights, I'm here in your country, pay for everything. I mean, the country is going bankrupt and these big banks want that, folks. They want to destroy our wages. And they sell it in the media via the Ford Foundation for more than 60 years. On record, that's who funds this. Ford Foundation has more than 50 billion in their war chest, paying for textbooks in Mexico, mainly. Saying, you know, El Norte belongs to Mexico, the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo. This is the globalists that run our government to create this division so that it's seen as you're anti-Hispanic, even if you're Hispanic, if you don't want to be under the government of Mexico, a failed state. Because the globalists want to collapse Mexico into the U.S. and collapse the U.S. That's their goal in a receivership takeover. Chuck e. Schumer, who wants your guns and who says the family is a bad thing and is a horrible monster, he's saying he wants to bring in a bunch of foreigners who could probably be brought in and turned into liberty lovers. A lot of them are. Instead, they're turned into anti-American socialist, anti-gun people. And then Americans are told, well, you better go along with this or you're racist. When, ladies and gentlemen, have you seen the demographics in this country? If they've branded this as, as, as a Hispanic victory racially, notice it's all racial politics, the government and media is selling. Turn on MSNBC, it's like the, 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 the Ku Klux Klan channel, but for whites uh, that hate whites and, and other people that hate white people. 
and they're pushing it, pushing it, pushing it, actually to make sure whites then go into their own little bubble as well in a balkanized system. And that's what Brzezinski talks about. That's what the UN and Club of Rome talk about. That's what Henry Kissinger's in the news today saying what we hope for is a balkanized divided Syria. That's what they want is a global corporate government with all the old countries broken up along religious and sectarian lines. This is the Roman model, the British Empire model of divide and conquer. <sighs> and imagine how they've branded it. If you see the demographics, you've got Hispanics in the Southwest and Texas and Florida where under the age of 10, and this is this number is a few years old, you've got 60 to 70 percent of the children are Hispanic. Okay? And then you've got all the rest of the country. I mean, if this was a racial thing, then the Hispanics have won. America is yours. So are you now going to say, let's bring in everybody for the globalist to then vote to be anti-gun? See, because it's seen as the victory against America is to bring in socialism and to get the guns and to do all this when offshore banks are doing it to destroy the United States. I mean, let's say you're a Hispanic truck driver, because we've had these rallies before, uh, when you'll have thousands of people out waving Mexican flags, saying La Reconquista, La Infasora, all this stuff, you know, the invasion, the reconquering, people wearing shirts, funded by the Ford Foundation that say plan of San Diego must be implemented now, which means kill all whites above the age of 16. I mean, this is like just beyond the white supremacist. If they said that, they'd be arrested. We have video and photos of this. I've covered it. It's on our site. Just type in plan of San Diego. You'll find it. And you've got all of this unfolding with the government and big banks funding it to create balkanization. And then you've got Mexico, a completely failed state. You've got all these other Latin American countries collapsing. And I go to these events, and guess who would be at these demonstrations, these counter demonstrations I did years ago? We ought to dig that video up and re-air it, because it's pretty riveting. I probably did like 10 of these counter demonstrations. Uh, and I would find that politically correct white people were pretty much all scared to come out there. Guess who would actually join me to protest the illegal aliens? It was mainly a Mexican Americans that just wanted to be called Americans because they understood. It's like, I'm a truck driver. I was getting $30 an hour roughly five years ago. This is like a decade ago. And now I'm getting $15, $16 an hour if I'm lucky. And they say soon with the Mexican trucks coming in, driving on the wages, I'll get nothing. Oh, you, you, you got it. See, just like Ross Perot was called a racist, we had nothing to do with that when he said, listen, Canadians are getting $35 an hour on average. We're getting about $24, $25 an hour. We have clips of this actually in Fall of the Republic. I went back. You, you can go online on YouTube and find the Larry King, Al Gore, Ross Perot debates. There's two of them. They're online. They're like 40 minutes long, you know, with the ads cut out with Larry King. And he goes, listen, Mexico's got, you know, below a dollar an hour, no infrastructure. You just put the factories in, no workers' comp, no insurance, no civilization, because the, the corrupt regimes down there don't want their people to be upwardly mobile. So he got it. You got to pay people a livable wage like Henry Ford did so they can buy the cars you're making. This is how you build a culture. This is how you build a society. And he said... Long term, it'll all move to China after the giant sucking sound goes from Canada to the U.S. He explained, we got all the Canadian jobs because we were paid seven, eight, nine, ten dollars more an hour. That is the Canadians were. So because Americans were paid less, we got those jobs. And then Mexico is paid way less, so they got those jobs. And then China's pay way less, so then they get those jobs to where Mexico's losing most of its jobs now to China and India. And it is the race to the bottom. And I'm desperately here trying to explain this to people. I mean, look, I'm smart. I know what I'm doing. My family is smart. They're professionals. They know what they're doing. I'll tell you, my family's going to be okay, regardless of what's done to America overall. I know how to adapt, overcome, you name it. And a lot of us do. But the problem is the globalists are just going to tax us to, to where we can't compete either by design. But let me tell you, the general public that just wants to go out and work a decent job, you're done. 
you're going to live in a 200 square foot apartment inside basically a prison cell. This is smart growth on record. L.A., New York, San Francisco is already doing it. And you're going to be a prisoner. And this has all been planned out where they're going to raise the taxes, the bureaucracy and shut down the jobs to where you're totally under government control. You're going to go work 12 hours a day, maybe 18 hours a day, like in China. You're going to live in a high rise building that is a jail cell. This is the dystopic model and the elite are going to live out in the countryside and helicopter into town. That is the whole plan in the 60s by Club of Rome. They're implementing it. And they are going to use <coughs> the population of Latin America that doubles roughly every 20 years to absolutely overrun this country. And they're going to take the guns. Uh, the general public is going to vote, along with the electronic voting machines, to do anything. The giant, unwashed, poor, poisoned masses of poor people across the board black, white, Hispanic, Asian, you name it, are going to do whatever the government says in this new economy to make sure they get their food ration digits put on their card. That's why the globalists want the end of wealth, the end of prosperity for the general public to make you totally controllable. You're not going to have power, but a few hours a day, government districts are going to have power all the time. That's already been officially set up nationwide. Don't believe me? Look up Austin, Texas. The government and central area of the city has agreements to never have their power turned off in blackouts and to never have their power rates raised. They are the ruling class. You are going to pay and pay. You're going to pay more for two hours of, of electricity a day than you used to pay for a week of electricity when they're done with you. You understand that. I hope you understand that. And they said they're going to start having more and more blackouts on purpose just to train you to not have power. And you notice those have all been happening. This is the new America. Do you understand that? In a decade, Ceausescu went from all of Romania having electricity to no one having electricity but government buildings, army barracks, and government districts of cities in Romania. They will do that here. Every major city of Romania had electricity. Most of the small towns had it. They just got rid of it. This is a total austerity, dark age plan for you and your family. And you're going to compete with 4 million prison laborers in America working for 25 cents an hour. You're going to compete with 100 million Mexicans in Mexico, 30 million here, who are then given government welfare as a corporate supplement to make sure they can work for an unlivable wage and take your job. This is the breaking of America. I'm going to go to your phone calls and shut up. I haven't even gotten into all the news. And this isn't bad news. Knowing about this gives us a chance to turn this around. But they are now saying, Congressman Ryan says an even more likely now bill will pass the House. Oval Office powwow, Obama, Boehner, Pelosi, McConnell, and Reid all trying to ram it through. Mexican theme park offers fake border crossing attraction. It's, it's the patriotic duty to go to El Norte and bring it down. And then the government's saying, that's right, come on in. Here's all your free stuff. Americans don't get it. Americans don't get in-state tuition. Americans don't get free tuition. Americans are the chumps, the marks. We pay for our own destruction. All planned out with total precision. The total destruction of this country. And I just want everybody to remember, if they succeed in all this... Remember, are you going to be better off in 10 years than you were today? Are you better off now than you were 10 years ago? And you ain't seen nothing yet. 76% of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck. Just a decade ago, it was less than 50% living paycheck to paycheck. And before that, we were the greatest saving nation in the world. Now we're the greatest debtor nation because it's all done by design on record. We have a criminal government. Rick in Utah, you're on the air. You want to talk about the giant NSA data center uh, there in your state. Go ahead. I just wanted to say that our data center will be up and operational at the end of August. And they said that uh, that our congressman didn't know anything about this NSA oh. um, uh, deep searching of, of millions of people. I actually called Orrin Hatch's office. They said that they voted on it in 2005 and that Ord Hatch voted for it. 
So, in fact, they actually did know about exactly what was happening. No, no, sir, of course they know about the biggest spy compound in world history. Uh, you know, dozens of giant buildings the size of football fields. Uh, just much bigger than football fields, huge buildings. We can show the NSA data center. And when American slaves from the newspaper try to go take photos of it in the middle of the uh, town, the, they, they come and arrest them like it's illegal to take photos of a giant complex. I mean, only in America. And of course, Orrin Hatch says he doesn't know it exists. Just like they say there's no FEMA camps, even though it's all on record. This is how they keep people in the dark. I mean, we're talking about a complex that's the equivalent of more than 10 major shopping malls, basically, is how I would describe it. It's just ultra-massive, and that's nothing. That's just a central center. They have bigger centers at Microsoft and Google and Apple and Amazon that are NSA. I mean, that's the only thing we're building is NSA. Because it's not just NSA, sir. Guess, guess what this really is. I'm sure you listen to the show. Do, do you know what this really is? What is it? It is the new internet with fiber optics 100 times faster than the current fiber optic that have already been laid nationwide into the universities and corporate governments. This is the kill system, bigger than the Manhattan Project, to destroy the old internet and take over the new internet that is a spy grid into all the video games, all the appliances, uh, wrist watches, clock radios, everything now being built and rolled out is an AI uh, spy grid. Actually, that's absolutely correct. They they said one of the reasons why that they brought it to Utah is because of the BYU University, that they have uh, some of the best uh, um, people there that understand algorithms, and that's who that they want to employ. Um, I also wanted to say about the HR 645, about the FEMA camp, um, they said that uh, that bill actually was never passed, but right now in subcommittee is HR 390, which is actually the old H.R. 645 to set up a, a FEMA camp. Well, sir, if you read that bill, the Emergency Centers Establishment Act, uh, it, 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 no, but I'm telling listeners, it's everything they've already built, it just officially establishes it and increases funding. Right. That's absolutely right. That's another, that's another thing that I asked Orrin Hatch's office about, and uh, magically they knew nothing about that. Well, listen, five years ago, Cyber Command stood up. That is, it turned on, even though it wasn't congressionally funded yet. It's already in place. They said they're going to shut down the alternative press. They said they're going to spy on journalists. They said in these Pentagon briefings that were even on C-SPAN that they're taking over. Uh, they've had uh, Pentagon briefings on C-SPAN where Thomas Barnett and others admit we work for foreign banks. We work for Wall Street. This is a corporate global government. This is all out in the open. That's what's so frustrating, my brother, uh, is, 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 that, is that they're building in San Antonio, in Dallas, in Austin, giant Department of Defense and other private corporate spy buildings. They're building substations to spy on each neighborhood. They're putting secret police units in everywhere. They're planning a full-on war with everybody. All their training manuals say it. It is an open foreign military buildup with collaborators everywhere lining up against us. And all the public manuals are taking our guns, breaking up our families, putting conservatives in re-education camps. I mean, that's just, it's so hellish, folks, and how evil and how openly despicable and wrong this is. And we can't even get the adult public poisoned from fluoride to even understand the NSA is spying on them. I don't know how that we can convince our senators and representatives to do anything about it. I, I literally call my representatives two, three times a week. I mean, they know me by name, and yet they do nothing about it. Or they play just absolute stupid on things that I know that that uh, are running through. Uh, That's what um, they do. They I, always deny everything exists so a real debate can never form. That, that That's a military tactic. To say that we're not assaulting, there's nothing happening. Tasers aren't killing anybody. GMO's good for you. Fluoride's good for you. <laughs> They're killing us.
had tried everything. I'd cut back the amount of food I was eating. I was lifting weights and jogging, but nothing was working. My body was literally starving for minerals and trace elements as well as key vitamins. And as soon as I had that, I immediately could eat half of what I was eating previously and be satisfied. Now, there are hundreds of great products at InfoWarsTeam.com, but I want to point out the three that have helped me lose 37 pounds in just two months. Products like Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Pollen Burst, and Rebound. When I started taking the Tangy Tangerine and other products every day, I lost more than 37 pounds in just two months. Now that's results. I want to challenge my listeners to go to InfoWarsTeam.com and to order just three of their products, and you will see the changes in the way you look, feel, and in your appetite almost immediately. Start your journey to health and wellness today. InfoWarsTeam.com. We're back live here. Uh, just briefly, InfoWarsStore.com is where we carry the very best products across the board. The best videos, the best books, powerful Pro Liberty t-shirts, uh, the magazine, and a whole line of different uh, powerful water filtration systems like ProPure, stainless steel gravity-fed filters that blow away the competition, side-by-side -side comparisons at InfoWarsStore.com. If you're not filtering your water, you are insane. It is a win-win-win. Get a great deal with promo code WATER. Support the broadcast, and most importantly, uh, be healthy. InfoWarsStore.com. Uh, and they got the new Pro One filters that cut it all out in one filter at, at one time, not two different filters. But all the units are there. InfoWarsStore.com. And don't forget the new film, State of Mind, on mind control, the past, present, and future. Uh, I'm in it with a bunch of other just amazing people. And that's available at InfoWarsStore.com as well. Pre-order it. It comes out in the middle of next month officially. We already have it in stock, but it ships out in the middle of next month. And you will get um, the uh, film absolutely free, American Dream, exposing the globalist banking cartel. So we also have it in Blu-ray, InfoWarsStore.com or 888-253-3139, 888-253-3139. Uh, let's go back to the phone calls. I just want to say this briefly. You know, I'm, I'm up here saying all this, and it sounds wild, and I go to break, and I go, no, that's, that's all true what I said. Look at how they let the troops use DU, knowing it's a death sentence. Look at how they give them deadly vaccines. Look at how they let them get nerve gassed and don't give them treatment. Look at all the secret testing. The globalists hate us, folks. You've got to understand that. And they want to mop up America. They want to use our energy to build their world government and then get rid of us. And they are targeting everybody. And it's all done compartmentalized. The people carrying all this out, most of them don't even know what they're doing. The water treatment facilities, they go, oh, look, the fluoride came in from China or came in from Florida or came in from Wyoming, you know, from the uranium mines in those countries or in those states. And we just put it in the water. And all it says is sodium fluoride, hydrofluor silicic acid and other byproducts. And then labs do tests on it. Some of the stuff, it even says what's in it. Mercury, lead, arsenic, you know, radioactive isotopes, and they put it in the water, and then you go to your city council, and they laugh at you. See how I mean what? What we're we're living in a twilight zone episode. But I told the story of uh, being up in Hot Springs, Arkansas, for a week on a slash vacation broadcast. You know, I did the broadcast there, but spent most of the day with my children, a working vacation, as they call it, and I was there. And they had a water convention for the state of Arkansas where the state had passed a law saying you've got to fluoridate because all these towns were pulling it out. And I had so many guys shake my hand and say, we're not putting it in, buddy. You see, the word's out, ladies and gentlemen. The word is out. Let's go to uh, Brad in Indiana. Brad got about a minute and a half. Welcome, sir. Hey, Alex. Uh, uh, first time caller, long time listener. I'm a huge fan. God bless you. Um, well, uh, which, first of all, I wanted to say I, I love the music you play. You know, when you're coming back from break, I would for sure love to love to hear some Rage Against the Machine. Um, but um, I wanted to get to my point here. Um, my, my dad, he's, he's a retired state trooper. Um, he's been retired now for about 15 years. Um, he's joined the force back in like 1977. Um, he used to be a detective. Uh, he was told by his superiors to investigate um, suspected terrorists. Um, the list he was given... Uh, normal people. He would go to their houses. They were all libertarians. They were all churchgoers. Um, you know, all you know, right wingers, uh, ar army veterans. Um, 
they've been targeting right wingers for for the you know past few. Well, no, I mean they got, so, got outlawed in the seventies in Texas because it was already illegal. They had the state police spying on. If you aren't a communist, they spy on you. And and what's crazy is most of the troopers aren't bad people, and they're like. I'm going to, I mean, breaking into houses, you name it. I mean, I don't know about the state you're in here in Indiana, but they've always, uh, tell you what, I want to come back to you, Brad. I want to hear more about this than Sean, Paul, Joseph, and others. Now you can watch the Alex Jones show live as it happens at infowars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15 day trial for prison planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at infowars.com slash show. All right, folks, we're back live into hour number two. We're going to cover the waterfront of all the big breaking news from the open borders promotion to 80% of prepackaged food in America are banned in other countries to show you how toxic our food is. Uh, we're going to get into California, about to pass a law that you got to get registered and background checks to buy ammo. But Brad in Indiana was bringing up something I'm already aware of. We've gotten the state police training manuals for really three decades that, uh, that I've seen it. But now it's just started to go public. He was saying his dad's a retired state trooper uh, that they were told to go investigate libertarians, veterans, right wingers. And I would just love the state police come knock on my door, act like I've done something wrong. But that's what they already do. They've pulled me over and ask, you know, what I'm doing, what I'm planning, where I'm going. I'm just like, come on, I don't bring in drugs like the government. You know, I'm not doing all this stuff. We have a criminal government that that is trying to train police just in role playing. Look at all these school drills they've had where it's a militia attacks the school. Or where a militia is going to bomb the Boston Marathon in a drill. And then, oh, somebody else does it. <laughs> you know that came out in the Boston uh, Globe. I told you, folks. I told you they were planning to blame it on us. Every TV show, every movie, the guy that wants liberty and freedom and due process is a terrorist. I mean, come on, how obvious is this? So what else did your dad tell you about this, uh, Brad? Well, basically, he was told by higher orders to go investigate these people. Well, he figured out that criminals were actually running the state police, which, in, in his opinion, they were, you know, they were huge liberals. Um, you know, my, my dad's a great guy. He's, you know, he's conservative. He raised me to be conservative. I mean, he, actually, he actually retired pretty early. But, you know, he was told to investigate these libertarians. Um, and I was like, you know, these people are not a threat at all. You know, they don't pose a threat um, to, to the people. Well, and when the globalists try to arrest everybody and put us in FEMA camps, they know we'll be forced to fight back. That's why we are the threat. We're the threat to this foreign takeover. And, and, and my, my dad's kind of worried right now. You know, he, he's, he's starting to kind of wake up a little bit. And I tell him about your show every single day. And I, I tell him to tune in. You know, I give him all these articles to, to look at. Um, and he's kind of becoming aware that, hey, we're being taken over here. Um, our country's ran by communists. Um, exactly. So start to become more aware. And, no, you know, I mean, he, listen, he, here's he, the he, deal. Here's the deal. This is so over the top that they might win just because it's so unbelievable. That's how tyranny always works. But if we learn from history now and really face how bad this is, a bunch of anti-human authoritarians using communism and socialism grassroots, they're really a eugenics group, are in control. Of what are we going to do about it? I mean, because it's only going to get worse. What else is your dad saying? Is he's really starting to wake up. He's he's really starting to wake up. Uh, you know, I I keep telling him to listen to you, but he he, he just won't. Um, but something else I also wanted to, to touch on. I I'm an appliance repair technician, so I I work on a lot of brand new washers, uh, dryers. These things are programmed to to access your home's Wi-Fi. Um, they they're programmed to access your cell phone, so you can do like a quick diagnosis. You know what you said before about appliances. You know, be, being able to to access, you know, your cell phones for that guy is absolutely true. Um, but it's I all on record. The, the smart meter and the connect and all of them are designed for the NSA to go in and take control and watch you and listen to you and track you. I mean, the cable boxes, all of it for over 15 years have been watching and listening to everybody. This is all now being announced. They're saying, should it be doing that? See, see, do I get a Pulitzer Prize for exposing this in 97, 98? No. Now it's just like, big deal. You're being watched. Absolutely. Well, you ought to do a YouTube video about being an appliance repair person uh, and what it's like. And again, that's a secret tax to the corporations that have gotten in bed with the globalist. A lot of times actually funded the globalist, are the globalist.
is that you pay in the cost of these products. Some estimates are half your cell phone bill or half the cost of a cell phone is all the tech built into it and the spying charges. Now you can watch the InfoWars nightly news streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at InfoWars.com forward slash show.